Hi, I'm Cliff Chang. I'm the artist of Paper Girls, and today I'm going to be drawing Tiffany and the giant robot. I tend to be a pretty messy artist, so sometimes you just start sketching stuff just to see how it feels and how it fits on the paper, not really worrying too much about details so much as like the overall shape. And that's really the important thing when you're starting out. You really can get into trouble if you start really drawing an eye right now, you know, instead of figuring out like the rest of her body or, or something like that. You really have to kind of just take a step back and look at the big picture. The pencil I'm using is just a lead holder. It uses these kinds of leads. It's just really a long piece of graphite that you stick into it and then um, you can sharpen it. Uh, you just end up sharpening the tip. So it's not like using a, you know, a regular number two wooden pencil uh, that we all grew up with. It's, it's a little bit heftier. You can get thicker leads so that you're working with a thicker line you know, at times. And it just uh, helps you block things in a little bit easier. And then when you need to go get a little bit more detailed, you can do that too. A lot of people started off trying to draw with a mechanical pencil, you know, and the lines on that are so thin that you're tempted to really go in for detail before you're ready for it. You're just you're dealing with a much finer tool. You do have to find a way of making the character distinctive. And with Paper Girls, it, a lot of it was about what they're wearing and keeping that consistent throughout the series. And part of the, the fun is finding a way to stylize the drawing in a way that makes it a little bit more interesting. A lot of it's kind of trying to find a way to give it a little bit of style and pizzazz so that when people look at it, they feel something. It's kind of easier when you're drawing a superhero because of cape and this and that, um, that it automatically gives it an emotional component. But when you're drawing people just in regular clothes, you really have to think about personality and story. This is a pen I like to use um, called the Pilot Parallel Pen, and it's really kind of a simple calligraphy pen, and it gives me a nice line that goes from really fat to really thin, depending on how I angle the pen. What I'm gonna do is just kind of lighten the pencils a little bit. Pencils are always just a very loose guideline for me, and then when I ink, I wanna be responding to the ink that's on the paper and less about tracing what the, the pencils were. The inking is always the most rewarding for me because it's where you're actually doing the drawing. It's much more like live performance in a way because what you lay down, you have to you know, kind of be aware of what you're doing and then because it impacts the next line that you make. Although luckily for, for us, it's, it's not actually live, so I get to go in with white out later and fix any mistakes. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Let's come around and beef up some lines. I'm Cliff Chang, and this is Paper Girls.